Obelisk, the Tormentor deck, the ultimate god could not be targeted by card effects. 4,000 attack could wipe out the entire field of monsters with its effect by tributing two monsters. This is an Obelisk deck with trap monsters, the new trap monsters rules. Super consistent. Let's go. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. The ultimate god obelisk. What does it do? Well, to summon it, you must tribute three monsters as a normal summon, so it's quite difficult to summon, but not with the new trap monster rules. It is much, much easier to summon. What does this boss monster do? As I said in the intro, cannot be targeted by card effects, 4,000 attack, so it's kind of like a huge saber dancer within the trap monster deck. Now, hopefully the Trap Monster deck does more than just help summon Obelisk, because Obelisk itself sometimes can be dealt with. So we want to make sure the rest of the deck is also good, and this deck is also good. But first, do you have to draw this card? No, you could use Draw Sentai Level. You want to make sure to use it under Kaiba to get the voice lines in the cutscene. If you lose 1,000 life at least by your opponent attacking you, let them attack you. You get to add Obelisk from your deck to your hand in the draw phase with ultimate consistency. You can also draw into it. We play two magic planters, send a trap you control to the grave. The whole deck is traps. Draw two cards, draw into Obelisk if they're not attacking you. Now, to get around the three tribute restriction, we instead could have Obelisk just tribute two monsters through the first monarch. The first monarch on summon, you flip it up, it summons onto the field. You discard a card, you make it divine. If it's the same type as Obelisk, it only it counts as two tributes. So the first monarch plus another, that's a triple tribute for the Obelisk. That's the main reason to use the first monarch. Otherwise, the first monarch's not good to use in a regular trap monster deck. Because Though it's 2400 defense, which is a very large defense, it restricts you from summoning other monsters that are not the same type as it. So please make sure you summon your other trap monsters first before summoning this, otherwise you will be restricted and you're not gonna know why the deck's not working. Now some extra spice in the deck, we have Shape Sister, level two tuner, completely optional. You don't need this. So we just have extra deck cards we rarely used. If you want to add extra spice to the deck, otherwise take them out, take out the extra deck, use whatever extra deck monsters you have. Kanadia also quite optional. It's for flipping down cards, helping out the obelisk stay on the field. It also summons itself from the grave, not as a trap monster, but as a monster, which helps for tribute summoning. Now our best trap monster, I would say the core trap monster of this deck is Angus Pattern. Angus Pattern, available through the Odeon events. You could get it through a ticket of some sort. I'm sure if you have an ultra rare ticket, you'll be able to get it if you want, or it will be farmable again in the future, or maybe you already have it because you are a good boy and you farmed the event. Angus Pattern, when you summon another trap monster with this on the field, you destroy a card in the field. It's 2,500 defense, so it's large. It can't be targeted by card effects if you control another trap monster. And we like to use it with the Tiki's. Tiki Soul and Tiki Curse. You could straight up win duels with just the Angus pattern and the Tiki's. Why? Well, you're going to summon Tiki's alongside the Angus, pop cards in the field, and with the new trap monster ruling, they are not connected to your back row anymore. You could have three trap monsters on the field and three traps in your back row. That's why it's so much easier to play Obelisk the Tormentor. Tiki Soul says your other trap monsters will go back to the back row when destroyed. And Tiki Curse says your other trap monsters will destroy any monster when they battle into it. So if you were to play against an opposing obelisk, the Tormentor, if they attack into you and you summon a Tiki Curse and they attack into another trap monster, or you have double Tiki Curse, that destroys the god. So this deck itself counters the god for the mirror match if you were to play against the mirror match. And besides that, Tiki them fools, get popping, get sinking, use the first monarch to help summon. Also optional. Kanadia, optional. The draw card's optional. Lots of optional. Just put in a bunch of trap monsters, whatever you have. Then summon Obelisk the Tormentor. Thank you so much, Turban Tuber. One more month, you will officially become a Gia. D Mac Riz with a pause attack. Super Smash Bros. Thank you. All right, so all we have to do is lose 1,000 life and then we could search for Obelisk. 
Very simply, we'll set up with the full Tiki's. Tiki gang. Maybe a first monarch with an obelisk. Or, you know what? We're not worried about anything, are we? We'll set the Kanadia too. All right, good deal. Good deal. Let's go, let's go. Unless you want to watch a VOD during this stream. Level 8 Synchro. Raid and get Millen. Synchro into a level 8. Spark Dragon. Spark Dragon hit me. Let's go. Super Soldier Synthesis. We will, I believe we're going to allow this. What effects is he going to have? Those are going to give the normal, non-effect Black Cluster Soldier a bunch of effects. Okay, it looks like he's got double banish right now. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Obelisk versus Black Luster Soldier. He has the effect to... He could banish a monster we control. He could also banish a random card from my hand. He could also, when he destroys a monster by battle, he could declare another attack. We can very simply just... Could Nadia flip him down? Flip him down before he banishes a card from our hand. And then we just need him to attack with the Spark Dragon. Good deal. Flip him. All right, very good. That delay was the effect of the Spark Dragon, not a quick play spell, nothing in the grave. Absolutely nothing to worry about. He, like a fool, he's gonna attack us for 2,500. We are definitely going to allow it. Oh, we allow it. We allow it. Now, within the end phase, I will summon Tiki Curse of the Fields. Now, many people are wondering, is this deck truly viable? You seeing what I'm seeing? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Absolute, consistent, obelisk the Tormentor nearly every game. This is peak consistency with a god. Come on. Come on. We do not activate. Voice lines on. This is it. My monster's effect activates. Activates the Envoy of the Chaos. What is that? I think that's adding back to the hand. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Come on, Yamiyugi. My monster's effect activates. Oh, jeez. Come on. Come on. Get the your plays already, Yugi. If you don't hurry up, I'm going to jump off. I am my make you pay. My Draw sense high level. This is it. Let's go. I draw. Obelisk the Tormentor is here. Come forth. Tribute one, two, three. Egyptian god, an almighty creature that knows no equal. Show yourself, Obelisk the Tormentor. The best monster in the game, Obelisk the Tormentor. Attack! Take out the Black Luster Soldier. Fist of Fate. Damage step? What'd it be? You have that Chaos card in your hand? It's no good. We have Kanadi to flip down the Spark Dragon to remove the Destruction Protection. He's got nothing on us. Super Soldier Synthesis. Okay, we will Kanadia the Black Luster Soldier if needed. 
which means we're gonna have to follow up on the Spark Dragon, possibly drawing into an Angus to pop it. By sending Envoy of Chaos to the Graveyard, his Black Cluster Soldier has absolutely no card effect. It is a vanilla 3000 attack, which looks like we're gonna save our Kanadia for the Spark Dragon itself. Spark Dragon poses a bigger threat. Just like that, Yami Yugi surrenders to the god. What could this makeup fool be doing? Shape Sister, Tiki Soul, First Monarch. Very good. I'll toggle off. He hits us. We draw Obelisk. We win. So instead, we pretend like a PlayStation 4 does not equal cash, and we get a PlayStation 4 instead. Hit me, Rosemary! Draw Sentai level! Obelisk the Tormentor! Let it go through. Let it go through. The first and the last Monarch. Discard the first Monarch from the hand, become a Divine, become double tribute. Obelisk requires a triple tribute. Humid wins. This does nothing. Come on, Mako. He's got his deck in his hand right now. He's searching for anything, grabbing a Kananga. Kananga's good for returning the trap monsters back to the hand, but we're not a trap monster deck. He thinks we're a trap monster deck. We are a god. Let's go, let's go. Obelisk, the Tormentor. Tribute, tribute, Flame On. Chiode 92, thank you for that prime. Appreciate it. Show yourself, Obelisk the Tormentor. This is it. You could not target a god. We'll now battle. Can't activate on anything on summon. Obelisk. Crush the enemy Fist of Fate the Lolly. Fist of Fate. My you Jesus. My I flip over my Flips up a blessed heart. winds. Blessed winds is going to summon a monster from the grave. There's no monster in the grave. Otherwise, gain 500 life by sending a monster to the grave. Take out the rosemary. Let's go. I end my turn. All right. My continuous trap activates. Activate whatever you want, Mako. It's useless. Bergamot. Can Bergamot become larger than a god? Can Bergamot become over 4,000 attack? I'll no mercy. I summon a monster in attack position. Normal summons a Jasmine. Going to tribute someone for Bergamot. Hopefully does not have the field spell. Otherwise, we're in trouble. Not supposed to be playing Bergamot. I'm counting on you. You're not I supposed to be playing the Bergamot. 2400 attack, nothing to be afraid of right now. <laughs> Bend the knee to the god. Obelisk the Tormentor wins it. You could never defeat a duelist with talent. 